Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Mighty Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part two of my Eagles single back wing pair. This particular formation I was huge on uh, last year. There was a toss play out of this, out of in the Chiefs playbook, but it was so cheesy that they took it out of the game. Of course, another play. I mean, honestly, every time I exploit a play and it, it's really successful, EA has to go ahead and take it away or break it or something. Uh, but it's still a really good play. In part one, I showed a couple of run plays uh, with some really good variations. Make sure you check that out. I'll pop a link for that now. Uh, but we're in part two now so we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you some passing plays uh, that mirror the motions from the first play obviously i want to always have plays that look the same so your opponent never really knows what you're doing and the most effective one is probably the first play i'm going to show which is the uh where are we at here so the first one i'm going to show is the pa tight end seam and we'll match random three four on d this play right here motion if you want to uh, if you want to keep that uh, particular look um, you can do the motion. You don't have to, but uh, it's definitely an option. What I like to do, I actually like to keep him in and just put him on a drag route. And you're going to see how effective of a play this is. The drag or the X route will get crazy open as I pass lead up with my man Nick Foles for the 30-yard touchdown Super Bowl winner. I'm just playing. I'm getting a little bit excited. Let's go, birds. All right. So, <laughs> so let's run this a couple of times. The, the two tight ends are really all I'm looking at. The square, I'm sorry, the circle route and the X route are about as money as it gets. Yeah, if it's a um, if it's a cover three, Sal looks pretty good, but my reads are really um, only the tight ends. Uh, the wide receiver is really not even. It's an afterthought, really. We'll try to look Jeffrey's way once or twice, but this is a really effective route. I mean, the, the tight ends route just gets forgotten for whatever reason. Users typically can't keep up with this. It's such a, a wide arching route. Even if they do follow, there's so many other options to throw to. Um, like I said, it's just you're just kind of a cluster of tight ends. It's kind of like a bunch formation, but with tight ends. Um, so we'll go ahead and we're, oh, I don't know where Foles is going there. That was just weird. He was doing a little bit of a hot cha cha there. So, you know, really easy play. Like I said, he's got a cluster here. And the play action, I think, is effective. I've been keeping the play action. But this tight end route is so hard. This is so hard for, for computer users to cover. It's such a good play. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next play. This next play here um, is a little bit uh, more in tradition to the first video where I had the motioning out of the tight end. So I'm going to go with the PA sprint halfback flat. If you didn't watch that video, I'll explain it in this play. So I got a lot of space now to the sideline, which is important because this play is really about Burton in a lot of ways. This, what Burton's going to be doing here, if this is a cover three, even if it's a man, this is going to be a really good play. We want to cancel this play action so we can throw from a, from a nice clean pocket and you're going to see how Burton's just got a nasty route. You don't want to be throwing on the run, especially if you don't have a good uh, mobile QB. So you really got to work on timing, canceling this play action. But you can't take the play action away. As you can see here, I get I get I get my feet all caught up. I didn't, you know, time that right. Bad play. See how that works? So real easy. I'm gonna motion out Burton here. He's gonna be the read, as long as it's not a cover two. This looks like a cover two though, so I'm gonna have to make a read somewhere else. Either the running back or uh, Jeffrey are pretty good options. You can do whatever you want with um I just mess that up. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with Selic here. Selic here, you can put him on a slant across the formation or you can put him on a drag he's a really good check down you can even put him on an out route and uh, he plays pretty well off of uh, the running back and jeffrey if or if it's a cover three you can just put him on a straight up streak i mean he has so many different options i'm gonna go with a drag here though but this looks like a cover two if it's a man coverage that drag is going to be important um and here we have that cover two look and i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna try to dot burton up on the corner and he didn't get into the end zone though two yards short no big deal go ahead and we'll try to get some more touchdowns um, so let's go ahead. This looks like, I don't know, maybe a blitz of a safety blitz or something like that. But um, it's a man, so that's all that matters. You can see how in a man coverage situation, Burton, even though he's against a corner, he's pooping on him. Even though he's against a, a really good corner, and I'm guessing, uh, I look like Malcolm Butler, but he's, you know, he's a tight end. He's pooping all over Malcolm Butler because it's, it's the route more than anything. There I put the wrong guy, uh, I put the wrong tight end on the, uh, the drag, but it doesn't matter. For blocking reasons, it might, but that's it. Yeah, keep an eye on the running back. I mean, that's a great check down. A lot of times he just gets completely forgotten. So this looks like a cover four. Perfect for uh, for what I'm going to try to do with Burton. As you can see here, he just finds space and then he doesn't catch it. Come on, bro. So a lot of options on this play. 
Uh, but if you, like I said, one of the best, if you could run this with a mobile quarterback, like say Carson Wentz was still playing, you can see how there's a lot of options um, to either throw to the, the crossing receiver or the running back to take off. So that's it for this place, but let's move on. So that's it for part two. If you guys want to see more Eagles, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moish it out.